yeah, something different. I got glasses on. My eyes are killing me. If you've been on Instagram, you know why they're killing me. Uh, so, this is, by the title, part two of Warcry stuff. And we're going to be unboxing this. I haven't actually opened it yet. I've just taken the plastic off. I've been kind of saving this. So, yeah, let's uh, open the Ravaged Lands to fire... Defiled Ruins. Um, I got it because it has the same guys I'm about to start doing. That'll be in another video. Um, and also I like the uh, ruiny side of things. Um, and it's a bit different from what a lot of the other guys in the in the Warcry group that I've been playing with have got as well. So yeah, it's always nice to have something different. Anyway guys, going to try and keep this quick. I don't... Like I said, I haven't opened it. I don't know. Let's open it. I'm excited. Yay. And bang. Just like that. Alright, guys. Let's... Like I said, I've made this easy. And I'm off to the side. Ha. Oh. Uh, let's take... The lid off. A bit like that. Okay. So it's just a lid. Nothing too fancy. But we get our first look at the sprue. And it's the statue, I'm guessing. The, the Sigma statue, that beautiful, look at the detail on that thing. I'm actually really excited to paint up half this stuff, if you can't tell. Um, so yeah, it's beautiful details on that. And of course, it wouldn't be a GW terrain thing without a bunch of skulls being just about everywhere. Oh, and these are the flame plinths. Um, I haven't decided 100% what colour I'll be painting the flames, but I'm sure I will decide soon enough. Alright, so that's one. And then we've got what looks to be like a trapdoor grate, some walls, a bit of ruins. Nice detail too, very textured. I look forward to painting this as I say, so let's just rush through the box because I'm pretty sure this is all going to be the exact same. Oh, this has a chest on it. That's cool. Little treasure chest. Ah. Alright, so yeah, we're going to run into some doubles I'm guessing. And these are the big walls. More treasure chest just here. Big wall. Lots of details. Really liking this. Um, I am... I am ooh. And this is heavy. That's what I really like about this terrain. Um, bit of floor. Across there again, some more walls. And this is the the big building side of things. Little bits of ruiny bits. They'll go somewhere, I guess. Um, we'll discuss that in a second. Again, another one. Uh, not the same. I mean, it's the same bottom section, but not the not the top. So, oops, sorry, but not the top. And then we've got the terrain cards. So, in the terrain box, guys, and with Warcry, um, the terrain should be built as the instructions say, but test fit everything. Look at the back of the box because these matter, they're part of the game, and it is important on how this is set up. Um, so your pieces have to match. They don't have to, but, you know, if you are going to play, they kind of do. Well, these cards are pointless. Uh, we'll move on to instructions. It's very basic instructions. So a couple little... So this is that fire plinth thing, and they're the little torches. Um, so they'll go there. Can we open it up? As you can see, it has little, I don't know where those options are going to go, but, oh uh, well, they'll go somewhere. Um, I'll quickly run through these. So as you can see, there's the chest and some more scatter stuff. And see how it's saying, don't glue it? Yeah, so I've had a couple of people tell me that, have a look at the instructions test fit everything first, look at the back of the box and see how you're going because uh, sometimes these instructions are actually wrong um, but it's not often 
So this is them building that statue that I can't wait to paint because it's massive and awesome looking and I want to paint that hammer, make it all weathered and old looking. So there's that. Uh, oh. All right, cool. So this is the... Playboard. I don't recommend throwing knives around guys, but in some cases this does help. Uh, so this is your wound trackers. Cool, so you've got your turn counter, like this is waiting, that's taking its turn. Then you've got your wounds on the back which are one, five, three, and 10, even though most of the wounds are in different kind of things. Uh, these are your character flag type things. I don't really know too much. We've just been using these when it's important characters to hunt down. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. Handy to have, tokens are always handy. And then, all right, so let's see. This awesome, awesome, nice, thick cardboard. I'm guessing it's cardboard. Double-sided mat. Not mat, but you guys know what I mean. If I wasn't stupid enough to know how to unfold it, that'd be great. So there's that. I can't even, I could if I was smarter to get this all on the table, but I'm not. But you can get the idea. So this is one side. Um, very plain ruiny, like super ancient, lots of skulls, bit of blood, that type of thing. And then the other side is the actual ruins that you see on the box, like so. Which is pretty basic and plain, which I also like, and that's folds up nice and neat and compact again. It's no bigger than a four piece of paper. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. That's that's everything that's in the box. Um, I really look forward to actually starting to build this um, and getting it together so that. Me and the guys can play, well, so I can contribute to everyone else being able to play with some different terrain. Um, yeah, I really like this. This is, he's so cool looking. That's, you know, part of the game and I love it. I think the whole thing is awesome. And yeah, guys, that's really all I've got left to say. Um, yeah, put it all back in the box and get organized and start building and I might do a painting tutorial on how I decide to paint all these but we'll see I don't know let me know if you want to see that um have a good night guys cheers